it guys, this is Elite Gaming 6 with the tutorial on how to install LCPDFR. So the first thing I want to do is go to www.lcpdfr.com. I'll bring you to this awesome website. I'm going to go over to download LCPD first response. I bring you to 095RC2R2. This is the most stablest version so far. What you want to do, download. No, I don't want to pay. It's stupid. Agree and download. And it won't it won't cause any harm to your game unless it's stupid. Then I'll just click download and then it appears right here. So it'll be done right now. I'm gonna open it up, run it, it extracts it with brings you this merge installer. Yes, you want that. Brings you this Welcome to G17 Media Setup Wizard. You want to go next? I have everything because it. I do. And I already have it. And if it doesn't, you're gonna have to go into Computer OS oh, Program Files. I have it through Steam, but through Rockstar, you'll find it here, and then I'll say Grand Theft Auto Steam Apps. Common and Grand Theft Auto. I'll go OK, and I already have that folder. Do that. Don't select X Liveless because it's stupid. Um, hardcore mode. It makes it uh, really difficult, like it says right here. I won't do it. Callouts. You don't want to disable this unless you have Braveheart, and Braveheart does give you better calls, but I don't know. So just leave it. And this, if you, if you have lcpdfr.com log, like a account, and it'll link it, so you it basically tracks how many pursuits, backup you called, how many people you killed, and I worked. I do. Next, and I'll install everything I already have installed. And voila! Setup complete, installation successful. Finish. And now, um, I'm going to show you how to install emergency lighting system. So I'll go over here. E M E R G emergency lighting system. And then you'll find it. G T A. Right here. ELS, Emergency Lighting System, version 6.1. It should be on GTA Police Mods. It says you must wait 7 seconds. When it says that, just keep on refreshing it. That already installed. So you want to do is go into your main GTA directory. Okay. And here I have the Iron Man mod installed. <laughs> Another weird coincidence. And I, I removed it so for this tutorial. You want to open up this version A, do that. All these files, put it inside your GTA directory. Just drag and drop. And it says do this for all and move and replace because there we go. And you look inside here, there's all this, blah blah blah. I'll config, you have to configure it, but ask on lcpdfr.com on how to do it. And now, this is going to include one more tutorial on how to install Simple Native Trader 6.5. It should be on gta4-mods.com. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I'm stuffing them like that. Download? I don't know why. Um, I know it's a save thing. What you want to do is go back into your GTA directory. I don't know why I closed it. Common. Grab the data. Grab the data. You want to open up this. All these files. The only files you want to drag and drop are all of these. The, don't You don't have to do those. You may. I just don't know what it will bring you. Move and replace. Trainer. What you want to do 
if you want to change skins, different libraries, you want to find vehicle library. I know, I spelled that wrong. L-I-V-E-R-Y. Find. See how it's set to one? Zero. That's it. Okay, that's all I'm going to bring you guys for this tutorial. I'll bring you more, but this is it for it. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, hope this helped you. If it did, link below. I'll show you next how to install cars. But, um, yeah. Um, if I went a little fast, tell me I'll make a better tutorial, but you guys should get it. But, uh, yeah, this is Elite Game 6 over now.